Hello guys, my name is iDyslexicam, and today we're going to be checking out Don't Starve. This is an indie game that has been in beta on Steam for a little while now, I believe. Uh, it is currently in the beta phase. I don't know when it's going to be officially releasing. Um, there isn't an exact date yet. I believe it just says March if you look on the Steam store as of now. Um, but as you can see, it is currently in beta. It says the next update will be in 12 days, and the last build was updated three days ago. So it would appear as though they are currently updating the game. So I'm going to be checking it out, um, and I guess we'll just jump right in. Hopefully we uh, we won't starve. Um, what kind of game would you like to play? All right. Well, adventure, I don't, yeah, I'm thinking adventure is looking. Active development is provided testing purposes, it'll probably contain bugs. Okay. Well. No, no, I didn't want to import a save. We'll just do this then. Okay. So it appears those sandbox is the base game mode. I'm not sure what adventure is or what the distinction between them would be. I am not informed of these things. So as you can see, the way it starts is with this guy telling you that you need to eat. That, that you are lost and you need to get some food. Ironically, it would appear as though you are a young boy. And he's an old man. And apparently he expects you to uh, be able to do this on your own. Which is a little bit rash. Anyway, so. Uh, beginning out, you're going to be doing a lot of gathering. And hopefully crafting. Uh, picking up grass and saplings would be the uh, primary thing. But we also need to get some food like berries and carrots and flowers. I'm not about exactly sure as to how to, as to how you would uh, get these birds here. Um, I believe you can because I've seen traps in the crafting menu. However, that I have not created them yet, so we'll see how that goes. But as you can see, it starts off like very similar to a game like Minecraft or Terraria, where Really, you're just kind of trying to get your, uh, you know, figure out, figure out the world around you, explore a little bit, pick up some useful things, and overall get started. No clear direction when you start. Definitely seems to uh, take that direction of approach. Now it seems as though we have picked up a fair amount of grass and saplings, so now. What we can do is we can... And some flint. Yeah, flint. Okay, so now what we can do is we can craft some tools. We'll craft an axe out of twigs and flint, and a pickaxe out of twigs and more flint. I believe the pickaxe did require more resources. So now, with our axe, we can chop down trees, which will be vital and pick up the logs and pine cones. So if you look to the right side of the screen, you'll notice these three meters. This is my health, my hunger, which I do need to constantly keep up. We will eat a carrot here. As you can see, it goes back up when I eat. The maximum, I believe, I think it's 100, yeah, 150. Okay. And then this is, I'm not exactly sure what to call it, 
but I do know that it depletes while in darkness and otherwise scary situations. This game uh, does have a day cycle, and when it becomes night, things will come out and try to kill you. So we need to make sure that we are well prepared for the night time by gathering plenty of resources and otherwise being successful. Now, it's looking like we're almost there. So, hopefully we'll be fine here. I believe I have enough resources to build a campfire. And I do. Multiple campfires, if I so choose. Finding an avid amount of flint does become important as the tools degrade quite quick, quite quickly, and you will need tools to do all the various things that you do in this game. Thus far, I will say that I am a real big fan of the art style. Looks really cool. The game is extremely smooth very clean and the system requirements for this game are quite low so I believe even if your computer is less than par not necessarily a gaming system chances are you will still be able to run this which is always great for a small time indie game like this because they get a larger audience for their game And we have acquired quite a few things, and it's getting dark. So, we need to find a good spot. Probably over here by the shore. That seems logical. Hold on. We need to maximize our resource gathering before it gets completely dark. Pick up the flint and the carrots. Okay. Now we'll go over here. Ooh, berries. I am not playing this smart. Okay, it's getting dark. Oh man, okay. So we'll craft a campfire. We'll build it right here. I can see again, he says. So now I'm in the range of this tree, so I might as well cut it down and get the sapling next to it as well. But yeah, I do love the art style. It uh, gives a kind of dreary theme to the game which is it's very unique and uh, real nice to look at I believe there is some combat in the game as well you can fight monsters and such I have not experienced any of that thus far so hopefully we will get some of that here I believe I actually have to build uh, weapons and such and upgrade by making a science machine here in order to uh, unlock more recipes for building such as weapons and other more advanced forms of technology. Might as well build a backpack while we're at it here. Gave me some additional uh, storage space. Capture small creatures with traps. Okay. So what I'm thinking... We added fuel to the fire with that... Uh... Oh! Wow! It would seem as though I can plant pine trees. Let's make a little camp with pine trees everywhere. It'll look nice. There we go. Okay. So. 
here we are. It is now morning. And we are going to go and explore.